This is Cytoscape 371, and I'm going to demonstrate how to manually add nodes and edges to either a pre-existing network or to a blank network that you want to draw from scratch. Here we have an existing network. I'm going to zoom in and add an edge between two existing nodes. Right-click on one of the nodes, choose Add Edge, and you'll have the beginning of a new edge you just need to click on the target node to establish completed edge. This edge is now part of the edge table. Data can be loaded onto it. It can be used for visual style mappings, etc. Similarly, you can add nodes by right clicking on the background and choosing add node. It'll give it a generic name of node one. You can change that in the node table. And it's, again, a node which can be um, used for visual style mappings and loading data, etc. You can, of course, add edges between it and pre-existing nodes. If you want to add more than one edge between a group of nodes, you can select multiple nodes, right-click, and say Add Edges Connecting Selected Nodes, and that'll add all the edges at once. You can save you time if you want to add multiple edges. The final way to add new nodes and edges is to, again, right-click on the background and choose Add, Edge, and possibly Nodes using the Simple Interaction Format, or SIF. The way this works is you simply type in uh, the name of the source node, so ACAP1, and then uh, the name of the interaction type, for example, Binds and then a space and um, the target node. You can again type an existing node or you can type a new node. And you can type more than one node. So I'm gonna connect ACAP1 to a new node, A, B, C, and D, to four new nodes uh, with this one typed in command. Click OK. Let's redo the layout. Now we'll want to zoom back in to our new node. And we'll see four new nodes added, A, B, C, and D, to our original network. 